Welcome to the Arnott's Biscuits Factory. We're here at Huntingwood in Western Sydney, and we're excited to be able to show you and our friend Kim Berry from Food and Drink Business through the plant and show you how we make Tim Tams. I'm so looking forward to it, Tim. It's just, this is gonna be a life highlight. Well, I hope double coats are your favorite. Today, we're making double coats on line five. <sighs> yes, let's go. what we're looking at. They look like moulds. This one here is actually teddy bear in a mould. So what happens is when the dough comes along, it moulds the product so then it's in the right shape to enter the oven to be baked into the biscuit. So the main ingredient is flour. Yep. You know, at this facility we get 200 tonne every day. We work with our growers especially really? to make sure the blend is right yeah. so that we can produce the products that yeah. we have for, for generations really. I think this is the best day of my life. <laughs> in behind these walls is our ingredients area where we have right. all our silos for our what we call bulk ingredients. They automatically load into the mixes based on the recipe and then we have some smaller ingredients that our operators uh, weigh up in the ingredient prep area and then those uh, are poured in manually okay. into the system. Or would they be things like our seasoning mixes or yeah. that sort of product that Petite. goes on to say a shape? Exactly. So this is just one of our storage rooms where we keep and store all our shortening that goes into the process as well. They're like wheat silos. Yeah, no, these are small actually compared yeah. to our, uh, our flour silos. We use a lot of ingredients. I mean, flour, as I said before, is probably the most with 200 tonne a day. Yeah. And that's the main, the core ingredient. But uh, yeah, we use a lot of shortening uh, for, for different recipes and so yep. forth. Um, but we also use, you know, a lot of Australian sugar as well. So this Tim Tam dough, for instance, it takes us 45 minutes to mix it. <gasps> oh my God. And we add all the ingredients. So that's there's the bulk ingredients. Dough. Yeah, that's the Tim Tam dough. So there's actually 15 ingredients that go into a Tim Tam dough. So 10 are added by the bulk system, so automatically delivered. Yep. And another five ingredients are added uh, through these, which are weighed up downstairs, and the operator will pour them in uh, when the system says, okay, I'm ready for and the next part of the, the mix. You smell the cocoa? You can. So mm. Tim Tam base, right there. That is one big mixer. It is. <laughs> 934 kilos, actually. Every mix wow. uh, is made. Every 45 minutes, yep. almost a ton of Tim Tam dough. Exactly. That's uh, mind blowing. It's a lot of Tim Tams. <laughs> it's a lot of Tim Tams. <laughs> it's a lot of Tim Tams. How long have you worked here? Uh, 27 years. That makes you a national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're doing is we're putting it through these set of rollers multiple rollers and we're actually thinning the dough slowly making it thinner and thinner until we get it to the right height for baking and then we're going to cut it into the shape of a tim tam and so our tim tam pieces are going in towards the oven and what we call our scrap goes on a return and then gets fed back into the process so it's not waste yep. that becomes more tim tams look at how many there are i know you told me earlier but how many tim tams are made in a day <laughs> i think it's close to four million biscuits every 24 hours Four million? Four million. I think that's more than the population of Adelaide. I know. <laughs> Keep eating. <laughs> and you, our dear viewer, is one of the ones that are chowing them down. Loving it. Loving them. Yep. And who wouldn't? I mean, come on. Line five <laughs> oven, line four oven. That's the longest that aren't its own, 124 metres long. And then the Tim Tam oven is 90 metres long. These are our longest ovens in the network. And what it does is it gives you more time to bake so you can actually move the biscuit through faster. So Kim, we've done our steps. We're at the end of the 90 metres on the Tim Tam yeah. line. And you can see we've got freshly baked Tim Tams coming out of the oven. The smell is amazing. Would you like to try one? <gasps> really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do a quality check. A quality check. Now, as I said before, oh we God, all, we're all quality job, checkers. Let me my grab a couple. Job. Oh, they're still warm, like fresh out of the oven. Oh my God. It's actually really delicate. Like chocolate, obviously, but really, like a really crispy little delicate biscuit. Yeah. What do you think, Kim? It's like, I don't know, it's like watching your child grow up, isn't it? It's we great. started at dough, yeah. we went through the single biscuit, now we've got the biscuit sandwich with the cream. 
Absolutely. They're growing up, Tim. They are. We just put the chocolate on and now we need to cool the chocolate before it gets packed. Yep. So what we've got is what we call a cooling tunnel. Right. It goes for 300 metres and the yep. biscuits will spend 20 minutes in there to get cooled so that they're ready for packaging. This is the shizzle. Double coat Tim Cams right off the line. Would you like to try one? They're delicious. Hi. <laughs> There's something comforting, sort of seeing them come around and, mm. you know, from the dough to the biscuit, to the filling, to the coating, to the eating. And the eating's really good. The eating is really good. Quality control. Ah. Oh, absolutely. I give this I give this batch a tick of approval. We just entered the packaging hall and it's pretty amazing, right? It feels like those the pavilions at the Royal Easter Show, <laughs> where you just walk in and you and you see all the big displays from all the different regions of the state, and and it has this sense of wonder, and you're kind of proud about it. Yeah. And that's exactly that's exactly how I feel. You, you've worked here for a long time. I have. Yeah. And we were talking earlier about just the culture of actually working here and how and how great it is. I really think that that somehow gets gets baked into the biscuits because we all have our favourite Arnott's biscuit. Well, I've been with Arnott's for a long time, 24 years actually, uh, yeah. working in uh, across our biscuit factories. But to be honest, compared to many people here, I'm one of the young ones. 40 years is not unusual service uh, in Arnott's. It's remarkable. What's your What's your favourite? My favourite? I'm pretty simple. So it's actually a butternut snap. Really? Yeah, it's a pretty simple biscuit, but wow. I love it. But wow. my kids would say shapes. Yep. But they won't go past the Tim Tam either. Yeah. So yeah. pretty classic stuff. For a sweet biscuit, it's the Monte Carlo. Right. But for a savoury, and it's not made in your Sydney factory, it's yeah. the Cheds. It's Fantastic. one of the blue box arnets, yeah. which is not as well known. No. But they are, people, if you like a savoury biscuit. Give Cheds a go. Give Cheds a go. Today on line one, we're making Sayo. Yep. A classic. Classic. 1906 was when it was wow. launched. Yeah. Uh, we're making Salada on line two. Oh, yeah. Yes. So crisp bread. Yep. Line three, we're making these. On line four, we're making cheese and bacon shapes, which is the aroma that we're getting <laughs> yes. a lot of. Yes. And on line five, we're making a double coat Tim Tam. A pretty big favourite of many people as well. So, lots of favourites today. I tell you, best day of my life, people. Best day of my life. I actually find this part just so mesmerising. It's just so quick. For us, we try to manage that. And one way of doing that is to bring in smarter and smarter technology that assists us to be able to do what we do, but do it either faster. Yeah. And, and some of the ways we do that is through automation. So these robots are a good example. I mean, this process is amazing, but someone had to, someone had to Think of it. Oh, yeah. Someone had to design it, build it, test it. So even just the initial thought of like, what if we developed an arm with a suction cup on it to pick up a biscuit? Thank you so much for having me. Pleasure. Thanks for coming along with us on our tour of the Arnott's factory in Huntingwood. Kim, we couldn't let you go with empty handed. Oh. So here's a couple of products. <gasps> I'm sure we'll find some more for you later. But here's a couple of things that these we made are this like, morning. These are, yeah, hot off the... Uh, hot out of the oven. Hot out of the oven. Yeah. Well, hopefully not, but you know. yeah. Hopefully not. I watched, I watched these being made. I mean, that's pretty cool.